Today we'll be looking at texturing a door. First, select everything in edit mode and click on smart UV there. You just want to have a little bit of an island margin, make sure all the pixels won't go on top of each other. Create a new texture by hitting new image here. I'm going with 128 and I'm turning off the alpha because I don't need that. Then go into your shading tab, select your texture there, create a new material, rename it. In here, press space to bring up the menu and type in image, or you can also go into the add section and search image there. Then drag the color to the base color right here. What you want to do then is to open to apply the texture we just created. Now we've got a front door applied to this material. We want to put it to closest to see all the pixels. Go into your texture paint tab and First thing we want to do is to insert a texture that we want to paint with on our model. So create a new texture for that and go into your folder file to import texture like that. To have it float like this, just go on the bottom right there and select stencil under the texture. Make sure the color is all the way up to the white to be able to uh, see what you're doing, otherwise you'll paint black. You can swap out between textures here, so you can import multiple textures and then just change between them like that. Uh, you can also paint on the texture itself on the left or on your model directly. You can reset and change all the scale of the image as well. And for the simplicity's sake, you can also just paint the whole texture there to have it all painted with the same texture. I'm going to head now and just add some of the details like painting the handle in a blue color and then I'll just add in some of the detail colors here on the corner to give a little bit more depth to my door. And here we go ladies and gentlemen, we have our brand new door that has been painted by painting a texture on top of it in Blender.